All right, something different today. Uh, we were gonna head out to the farm. We decided not to. It's nice weather. It's uh, Easter weekend, a lot of holidays, but uh, there's these war memorials everywhere in Ukraine. And this was an interesting one. 1944, this is a SU-152 tank destroyer. And uh, every year they will come and they will paint they will clean them up uh there's this one it is in yarmolency you can see it's had all kinds of ricochets all kinds of stuff i mean this is the, the real deal it's extremely windy here today but i'm going to uh, go around today and hit some of the uh memorials and some of the different uh, artillery armor that I can find in this oblast just give you guys uh, some interesting stuff so let's see if you guys like it most of this stuff still runs um, I'm gonna say this one probably does not but I'm I'm pretty sure that the uh, t-34 in the beginning of the city does so cool stuff maybe this is uh interesting for you but uh i'll stop the video and we will go on to the next all right on our way through the city i saw one more war memorial for the great patriotic war you'll see these in all the big cities throughout ukraine this was there in soviet times the eternal flame they had the fire burning. Now, some of the cities will still have it, some of them won't, but you will see some of their great Soviet soldiers, partisans, and then this will be all the people who died in service of the Soviet Union during World War II. This will be all the names of all the people who died from this village. And this is Yarmolency. And then they have another memorial. I don't know if this is, this will have to be the Soviet Afghan war because these all, all these people died in the eighties. Yes, Soviet Afghan. So just some more interesting stuff. I said, I'm gonna hit a few of these today and see what uh, stuff I can find and we'll put a video together and slap her on. Catch you guys later. All right, found one more on our drive back to the city. Suvkitsi Fortress. It's now a church, 14th century fortress castle. I just, uh, a lot of history in this region. We thought we saw it on the sign. We thought we would stop and take a look at it real quick. I've already got a few more interesting things planned to find. I found another Soviet war memorial inside this village of Suvkipsi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But they're having uh, some kind of religious ceremony inside right now, so I won't go inside the church. It's cool stuff. Very interesting. You can see the fighting holes that have been blocked off. They had these little fortresses all over the Kievan Rus before everything was done. Interesting stuff. See old Babushka mean mug me for, for videotaping her church. This plaque in 1948. Soviet but interesting stuff super team of fees out here helping me today but cool stuff they had all these castles and fortresses in the Kievan Rus because uh, it was all these different tribes all these different areas all broke up so you had to have something to defend your region to fall back to so on to the next one all right here it is the famous t-34 of the Kominsky Oblast. Probably not pronouncing that right. It's very difficult for me to say. But they've just painted her up, put a fresh coat of paint on there. You can see this is the 1944 
memorial. But it is a very well preserved, very beautiful T-34. Very cool. The World War II, the Great Patriotic War Cemetery is just down the road here, maybe, oh, I don't know, a block and a half, two blocks. I probably will go down there another day. Um, it's kind of cold. I didn't bring my jacket. Just got a long sleeve flannel. So we're going to hit up a couple more memorials in the uh, city today. Just easy stuff to view and uh, see if I can't uh, find some more cool stuff. Oh. All right, there she is, T-34. All right, we made it to the main memorial in the center of the city. This was your eternal flame. Of course, uh, after the Soviet Union, the uh, eternal flame wasn't so eternal. Nobody wanted to pay that gas bill. This is a big park in the middle of Kaminsky. This is the biggest city in this oblast. It's actually a pretty big industrial city. But as you can see, here is part of your war memorial. We'll go to the other side here. Then we'll make it up to the soldiers that have these PPSH submachine guns, the Papa Shaw and some Mosin guns. Some more information, 1944. There's a few more memorials I saw over here. There should be some more stuff inside this park also. But stuff. More memorial information here. You guys can see all the new stuff. And now just go. There's a few more placards. It's Nice memorial. Some heroes of the Soviet Union. You can see this nice park behind here. We'll walk this park and see if we can find some more stuff. Interesting stuff. We'll see what we can find. All right, I lied. We made it to the cemetery. Military cemetery. 1941, 1945. You can see going down this fence, you get the nice Soviet stars and reefs going all the way down on the outside or both sides of the fence. Very cool, very interesting stuff. Cool Soviet red stars in these golden reefs. And this is the Kaminsky Obelisk National, or I guess not national, but uh, regional. Great Patriotic War Cemetery. This is all your common folk. If you are extra, extra cool, you get your own walkway. You get your own memorial. There's some high-ranking people that have, you can still see the hammer and sickle in that stuff. Very cool stuff. But, You'll see. I'll show you a few other ones.
show you an example. If you were extra cool, high-ranking official in the party, you had your own Soviet red flag and your face immortalized. We got all kinds of interesting stuff here in the National Cemetery. Very cool. Then there's a... These would be one, these would be paid for by the state and these would be paid for by the individual. These would be people that died after the war participated you can see some very cool and very well done well preserved memorials then there should be World War II a few more monuments and you can see how many hundreds there are Then these should be all the names. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-three, forty-four. Now another interesting thing is these are gonna be the names of the members of the Soviet side that died. You need to remember I am in the western part of Ukraine and they supported Germany in the beginning you can see fallen soldier memorial and this is a giant star you can see very interesting very cool ppsh submachine gun but this is 1941 1945 i can hear my fiance yelling at crazy timothy who has a scooter He's going a hundred miles an hour down these paths. <laughs> but you can see. A very nice, very well built memorial. But like I was saying earlier, is these are just the remembered soldiers from the Soviet side because the victors always write the information of history. A huge amount of Ukrainian soldiers fought for the Germans as well of course their names aren't going to be in this nice cemetery and they are just part of the forgotten history you see they have very very nice orthodox church another nice little memorial what do we have here nineteen eighty nine they've gone through and they've redone a lot of the churches in the Soviet Union there weren't churches that was kind of an underground thing religion was banned so well like I said I lied the weather got nicer it warmed up a little bit and the wind died down we decided to go ahead and come out here and I'll splice this in to the rest of the footage the like extremely old several it's i think 150 plus year old cemetery is next to this military cemetery uh, it's not so interesting to me i'm a fan of history and military history but i don't uh i don't see the need to walk through the i guess just the, the old 1900s and 1800s graves but like i said we will uh We'll go through and uh, try to find some more stuff in the city, but this was pretty much the end of it for the military stuff. I think there's a few more memorials and stuff. I might find one more today, and I'll put a little video together and drop it tonight. So, all right, you guys take it easy. I'll catch you later. All right, last one, I swear. Now, <laughs> found two more memorials next to this really cool church. I'll do a quick few videos and on our way. 
with a bronze statue officer with a PPSH submachine gun. 1941-1945. You see some of it's been defaced, but then there's another nice memorial here. Let's see. Another memorial here. Forty-one to forty-five Great War. And then we have a really, really cool church. Very cool old church. Gotta love the neat architecture. There's there's a one here, should be Orthodox, and then there's another one behind it that should be Catholic. So just something I thought I would stop and show you guys. There are literally hundreds, thousands of churches and memorials like this all over Ukraine. I just, uh, there's, <laughs> there's not enough time in a year to go through and do it, but you can see the names. Okay, so we're right out, so we're the first village outside the city. And these are all the names of every soldier from this village that died. So, very cool, interesting stuff. So, I will leave you guys at that, and I will get to editing. Please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I want to grow this channel, turn it into something really cool. I'll catch you guys later.